Come sail along with us on the Queen Mary II as we set out on a cross-Atlantic voyage celebrating our 58th anniversary. The celebration started the minute we entered our beautifully appointed cabin. There, in an ice bucket, was a lovely bottle of champagne from the captain. So the excitement started right away. One of the most exciting things about the departure, of course, is the magnificent view of New York, New Jersey, the Statue of Liberty, and sailing under the magnificent Verrazzano Bridge. To give you an idea of the size of the Queen Mary, here's a picture comparing it with the Titanic. The Queen Mary II equals the length of three football fields, so it's quite easy to get your exercise during the day. The ship can carry 2,600 passengers, along with 1,300 crew members, and there are an additional 22 very special guests. Two of the questions we're most often asked about cruising is seasickness and crowds. Well, on this particular voyage, unless you happen to look out at the water, there was absolutely no sensation of moving. Modern ships and their stabilizers have all but done away with seasickness. And as for the crowds, the only time we were aware that there were a lot of people on the ship were in the dining room at dinner or perhaps in the theater in the evening. Other than that, there were lots of places to find where you could be either alone or with just a few other passengers. There are many dining opportunities on the ship. Perhaps one of the things I was not too fond of is the fact that this is a two-class ship. There, there is a separate dining room for those uh, guests on board uh, with suites and a separate restaurant for everybody else. Uh, of course, there are, there are many other dining options. There's a British pub, there's a buffet uh, you can go to for three meals a day if you want to, uh, and an, another restaurant that featured um, a different cuisine every night. In the main restaurant, the Britannia, um, as you know, I teach cooking, uh, so I found the food to be perhaps a B. My husband, on the other hand, was very pleased with it. Uh, most guests I spoke to were very pleased with it, but I did find a number, a number of others who felt as I did that it didn't quite meet our expectations. Mary too boasts one of the best libraries on the ocean today. Uh, Nonfiction, fiction, pretty much anything you want. Uh, even a specific author I was pleased to find when I went to look for it. And there's lots of entertainment. There are lectures during the day. Uh, 
a particular favorite of ours on this group, uh, this cruise was a group from RADA, the Royal Academy of Dramatic Arts. They gave uh, sessions in how to act, um, performed uh, amazing death scenes from Shakespeare, and also presented Pride and Prejudice in one hour with six actors. After seven days at sea and covering more than 3,000 miles, we arrived in Southampton. We left there uh, to travel to London and take a train up to Yorkshire, where we visited family and had the great fun of experiencing village life in beautiful Kirby Fleetham. Cheers.